Welcome to this episode of Video Crawl. I'm Lakshmi Rebecca, co-founder at Red Bangle. And I'm excited today to talk about a topic that's very important to pretty much every organization on a growth path. And that is employer branding and hiring. We've all heard about the great resignation, um, this and the pandemic and the fact that we don't necessarily meet everyone we want to hire and we don't meet most of our colleagues today or our employees today has put a lot of pressure on employer branding and talent acquisition teams to get their messaging right, um, to communicate about their culture and values in a meaningful way online, to keep it real um, and connect. And, you know, we get so many briefs every month when it comes to employer branding and hiring. And in every brief, the ask is, hey, we need to do something different. We need to stand out. The pressure is huge today. So today I've, you know, I've got an amazing guest, Ira Pradhan, who's the head of internal comms at Freshworks, joining us to talk about her experience, you know, what, what she and the team are facing in terms of these challenges and how they're using videos to overcome these. So on that note, let's dive in. Hey, Ida, welcome to the video crawl. Hi, Lakshmi. Thank you very much. I'm really pleased to be here today. Great to have you here. And I'm super excited also because you know, our topic for this month is hiring and talent acquisition and, you know, how videos can help with this. Uh, and I'll give you a little business context to this, right? Every month, uh, we have a couple of new, you know, briefs coming our way from different ba brands, businesses asking us to make something hatke when it comes to a hiring video. And um, more and more, we're seeing that there's this, you know, huge demand to do it differently, Right. So my first question to you actually stems from this context. There seems to be a big talent war out there, right? So when it comes to communicating and attracting potential employees, um, what role do you think videos play? The day we found out that videos, we can use videos for employer branding was a huge day for us at uh, employer branding communications. It's always played a big role, like 15, 20 years back when we just started, when we just uh, started using video as a medium. Uh, it was very different from what it is now, I have to tell you. Uh, so, but we, we recognize that it is an important medium. Like uh, we were using static, we were using, you know, advertising on newspapers. Uh, we were sometimes using bites on TVs, but we really, really never thought that, oh my God, we can use it also to produce videos that, uh, tells a story about an organization. So yeah, I, I would say it plays a huge role. Uh, with the advent of social media, it's become a key uh, medium for communicating the values, the culture, the entire organizational uh, products, services, etc. So for employer branding, it's one of the key, most like one of the key tools to communicate. Got it. You know what we are noticing is that briefs have gone from, oh, uh, we want you to come and interview a few of our employees to, we want stories, we want, you know, we want to fictionalize this, each of them can become characters, we want a day in the life of, we want the, to showcase their growth stories, achievements, sort of, you know, map their achievements, uh, talk about culture, talk about values, um, uh, talk about the campus and in the hybrid world, talk about hybrid work life as well and how we support, you know, um, the hybrid, you know, remote work and hybrid work as an organization. Uh, so formats have blown up, right? Um, and, and rightly so, like you said, a lot with a lot more being on happening on social media now in terms of conversation and brand engagement. Um, and fact being 88% of the, you know, demographic of the potential workforce today globally is a millennial audience and they're very, very video first, right? So in today's world where you cannot, like you used to bring people into your office, show them around, introduce them to people, um, you know, what are the sort of challenges you're trying to overcome with videos? You are 
completely right. I mean, during the pandemic is when we realized that, you know, we, we're hiring a lot of people and the business is going as usual, but we don't have physical spaces to show. And earlier, a lot of the culture that we used to communicate used to be through these physical spaces. You know, you show people how the office is, you know, we, we had this, like, yeah, I, I, when I started my career, we had this, oh, we should have a cafeteria, oh, we should have a gym, et cetera. But none of those things we could actually showcase. So that's when we, you know, we really had to think about videos. I remember that during the pandemic, one of the manufacturers, for instance, wanted to hire people um, in the organization, but they were really, the, the, the prospective employees were really not, not not knowing what they're signing up for you know so it made sense then to use video as a medium not just to get the leadership out there not just to get the culture stories out there but actually to show the physical spaces because that's where we talk about culture every time so the challenge is practically that getting people together to be able to show the camaraderie because everybody is remote i mean half of our employees haven't seen the office uh, nowadays so the challenge is actually showing the authentic stories got it got it so you know uh, at freshworks how how do you do it right how how do you go about telling authentic stories to the outside world and you know help potential employees believe in the culture that you have and and, and to get a picture of the culture that you have yeah um freshworks um is a very video first and we truly believe that this is the medium for us to communicate almost everything right so um uh you know so uh, just before i i joined the organization i i saw a video and it's one of my favorite uh, you know employer branding videos we had a video on culture which uh, used the song uh from a famous movie uh three idiots it was called all is well and that pretty much sums up oh, everything that we are, you know, we, we feel that it's a safe space, it's all is well, like, you know, we're okay with uh, failing fast, for instance, it shows our culture because of the peppy beats that is there in the song, and it shows our leadership team kind of mingling and singing along, sort of a thing. <laughs> That's the approach that we have taken in Freshworks. And besides, you know, our EVP, like our employee value proposition is, it it just says we are Freshworks, we are genuine, we are authentic. It itself says it. So, so you need to have a strong employee value proposition and then all the stories can be, you know, uh, circled around it. In my early career, I went from job to job where I was the only female engineer. Freshworks offered something different. They were taking strides in being inclusive and diverse in having more women within the organization. A group of women at Freshworks got together and started Women360. We're all about empowering and educating each other to strengthen the bond of women in tech. I'm proud to be a part of it And I believe you also have um, a video series other than this, right? You, you have a content property other than this that, you know, yeah. is very employee focused. So tell me a bit about that. Um, so employee, again, it all, it's all about employer branding, right? So, and, you know, so the, the medium of video itself, like, let me just go to that to say that the medium of video itself is such that you cannot be inauthentic. You can, you can get caught, <laughs> you know, so it kind of uh, shows what kind of people are there in the organization, etc. So first of all, you need to find out what kind of people are there in the organization. So we have this video series, um, which we produce weekly. Um, and it, it like in this remote, uh, you know, uh, work atmosphere, when you don't have the face time with your colleagues earlier, you could just walk down the corridor and you could just meet up all the people. It's, it's a great way to tell people like, you know, these are the people that you're working with. So it's the same, same stories that we take out to our website on LinkedIn, on Instagram and all the social media handles as well. 
more and more so we're all moving towards this always on content play right whether you're a b2c brand or a b2b brand or you're an employer brand right um and you're trying to co- continuously communicate and engage with this audience whether it's an internal one or an external one and it's very interesting to hear that you've got this weekly series uh and from my understanding you actually produce this in house right so it's literally shot on shot on a phone edited internally by a small crew um and we are seeing this more and more where while there are the sort of the big rock pieces which are you know let's say high production value and they're really cool and you probably drive a campaign uh you know using them so you get like a whole bunch of applications or you drive you know communication um around a particular intent um there are all these smaller pieces that you do on an ongoing basis weekly daily you know however frequently you can uh depending on the need of the brand and and so this is leading to a hybrid model between brands and video agencies such as ourselves where you know you might come to us for the big rock pieces you might actually hire a small team yourself to do a lot of the small pieces because you need them on a continuous basis or you might say hey we'll shoot this and then you guys can can you just package it and edit it and give it to us do you see this happening more and more around you with sort of you know friends and you know acquaintances in a similar role as yourself so yes um you know lakshmi i agree uh, that you're doing this really good thing with red bangle honestly because um that is the need of the hour you know we really need um experts studio setups that are remote where it's easier to develop things uh, which are not cumbersome i'll give you an example just 15 or maybe even 10 years back actually just Seven eight years back, I was doing a video where I had to book a whole garage. Honestly, uh, create a green studio around the garage with measurements. I had to get a cinematographer, uh, a Canada cinematographer, um, and with his Jimmy Jam and everything. And it was a, it was very cumbersome. You had to book equipments, producers, timing, uh, right, storytelling, everything. It used to take about two to three months to create a very good uh, video. I'm sure that you're talking when you say, uh, like, uh, those big bang videos kind of thing. But that also takes a lot, a lot less time with these kind of studios coming up, like Red Bangle, you know. And so it's a mix of both. When we have these daily requirements, we, as I said in Fashworks, for instance, we are very uh, video first as well. Uh, we have a very young, um, um, you know, employee base. uh because of that everybody is like you said um, mobile first always on so it's 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 just a medium which kind of summarizes everything it's uh, it lets you use different kinds of medium like for example data static photos it lets you tell a story and then of course how what's the kind of mood you want to create by using the you know music so when we have a set of uh, team who can do all of this it becomes a lot easier because I'm a communications professional, you know. I didn't um, uh, think that I'd ever have to make produce videos in my life, and I'm having to do that. I always have a team of video person and a design person in my team who does that. But I think that um, you know, on an ongoing basis, when we have to sign up with a, a studio such as yours, uh, we know that we're giving it to the experts first of all. Uh, I think how the team can really help is actually. uh come with the you know come together with the brand to create um the whole story that we we can bring out throughout the year rather than this one time piece that we do which also is there. there there will be a requirement for that but i think the involvement it's involvement of the agency in the whole storytelling process is is very important so yeah got it thank you for that i think you've sort of set the stage very nicely for me to come and do some showing off so i'm going to show off and plug one of the you know recently made videos we made, made this for darwin box which is a freshly minted unicorn so we'll just cut to the video for a couple of minutes when we began in 2015 the average employee experience was well very average technology at work was stuck in a time warp not easy to use not very exciting and definitely not cool it was time to shake things up 
We started Darwin Box with a mission to build an enterprise app that every employee loves. I mean, why should consumer apps have all the fun? Excuse me, sir. I'm new here. Where can I go for my induction training? On your phone. See? Hi, Aniru. I'm Darwin. Welcome on board. How can I help you? Today, we work with some of the biggest enterprises and fastest growing startups, including Tata, WeWork, Make My Trip, Tokopedia, and Swiggy. Hello. Yeah, mm. take lift. Speaking of food, what is our secret sauce? It's not about what we do, but the way we do it. For starters, at Darwin Box, hierarchy really doesn't matter. Here, reason trumps designation and performance beats experience. What matters is your ability to take charge. Not only will you get ample opportunities, but you will be interested to lead the next big thing. If you've got the drive, this rocket ship can take you places. Yes, at Darwin Box, you get to try new things all the time. You have the freedom to do things your way. Just like directing this part of video. I think we should try a couple of arrangements. Sure, let's yeah. do that. Okay. <laughs> is it better? <laughs> what makes us most proud is the global opportunity to build one of Asia's fastest growing and most valued technology brands in offices, living rooms, and cafes around the world. And we're just getting started. But we are in a hurry. We're growing 3x every year. So you need to have that hunger and that hustle to solve for scale and speed at the same time. Which calls for passion. Serious, unstoppable passion. It's the same passion that we bring to the table. Into everything that we do at work or play. And that's what drives us to deliver results and make a difference. If you're someone who wants to drive the next big evolution in technology, if you're hungry enough to build the new and next big thing than never before, then this is the place for you. Are we ready for the final shot, guys? Excuse me, can we make the logo a little bigger? Ira, so Davin Box came to us with this ask to make um, a hiring video or an employer brand video, and they wanted to show the culture at you know in the organization. They wanted to show that their teams were spread out, not and not just in Hyderabad where they're headquartered. Um, and they wanted to take a very funky young approach to it because obviously they're a startup, they're young, they, you know, um, and they wanted to represent real people right? No, no actors, etc. cetera. Um, and that's how this video came about. And it's very much what you mentioned, which is that they broadly said, hey, this is what we're looking at. We want something fun. And then we went about sort of scripting it and creating end to end. What is your favorite hiring video then? Well, uh, you know, um, I already mentioned us. I would still say that it's really on top of my list. Um, there are many, I think the usual suspects, Apple does it really well uh, talking about their uh, perfectionism. Uh, I think that Google does it really well, um, you know, the, the kind of atmosphere they want to show. I remember on TV, for instance, IBM was uh, doing one and it says, I'm an IBM. And I thought they had, there was a certain ring to it and everybody remembers it. Uh, last question. So if, you know, I'm a Copcom head or a talent acquisition head and uh, I'm going to, you know, shit down of pressure to get my hiring right and build a pipeline, uh, given the talent war out there, what are the top tips that you can give me to get my hiring video right? I think the studios and uh, the agencies, as well as the partners that work with us, really need to understand the business. You rightly said that there is a talent war, but there is also this war of differentiating. Like you said, everybody comes to you saying, I want a distinctive looking video, but how distinctive are you in, as an organization? So what distinguishes one organization from another especially in employer branding, is their EVP, the employee value proposition, right? So what are we offering employees in totality? Is it the culture? Is it the com compensation? Are these the benefits that we're talking about? All that is what forms the entire EVP. So understanding the EVP takes a bit of time. You can't just say, I'm going to come and uh, shoot a video and, you know, just like, um, so I need these things that like it becomes a very formula based thing, right? So when everybody wants to distinguish in a sea of brands, 
Uh, one of the most important tips that I'd give um, partners um, and uh, agencies is that, that they should really, really get into the brand to understand, to be able to understand what uh, products are we making, um, you know, what kind of people are we working with, what is the diversity uh, and inclusion practices that are there, what are the, these little benefits that make a lot of difference in the organization. So just when, I, when we say partnership, it should be a real partnership. I think that's the number one uh, tip that uh, that I would leave you with. You know, I really like your answer and I relate very much, um, given also that I come from a social research background. And I remember this many years ago, not when I was, you know, not when we were building Red Bangle, but even before that, when I was making a few videos, there is this instance that I remember where ThoughtWorks came to us with a need for a hiring video. And our approach was very different. Our approach wasn't that, okay, fill in the brief and give it to us and we'll do the rest. Our approach was, and I think still very much is, let's interview the staff. Candid one-on-one -on -one interviews, right? Whether it's on the phone, on a video call or in person, let's interview, let's gather the data. Let's interview 12 people, even if we need to only feature, you know, three people, four people in that final video. Take all those inputs and assimilate data from there. Weave the story out of, you know, what we hear from real people and sort of build a narrative from there because I think what that seems to me at least for, for you at Freshworks that's the biggest thing right to say it as is to show the real people and the real life right um, and then you also have at some point the need to okay to say it as is but to say it beautifully too because you have you know you are a brand right and there, there has to be this aspiration to join you guys whether it's in India or abroad right so maybe before we close this video I will I will plug into that ThoughtWorks video because even though it's several years old, it's a beautiful piece and it's still fresh in my mind, right? So here it is. I'm a developer, I'm a musician. I've been at ThoughtWorks four years and ThoughtWorks lets me be myself. I joined ThoughtWorks straight out of college uh, in the past seven years, I've worked on uh, seven different projects and in four different countries. Interesting technology, good work-life balance, good colleagues who treat me like a family, I get to travel, that's all what I always wanted. So you start with the six weeks of ThoughtWorks University and you learn with people from all over the world. It's awesome. I'm really passionate about tools, technologies and frameworks and the ThoughtWorks I've had the opportunity to experience a whole lot of it. There are no cubicles, so you make a lot of friends. Working in pairs is like working with a friend. It's not just about building software. We use technology to improve lives. The new set of challenges and opportunities that ThoughtWorks provides to individuals is a great motivation. We work with cutting a technology for a lot of sectors. Uh, insurance, finance, uh, retail, analytics. We think disruptively, and we work with clients who have ambitious missions. I've worked on cloud computing, virtualization, open source projects in Python and Ruby on Rails, and a lot more, and it's really exciting. It's a, it's a very transparent and uh, peer-driven culture. For me, the reason I'm at ThoughtWorks is the opportunity to learn. There are loads of personal development opportunities here. You really contribute to the industry. ThoughtWorks accommodates a lot of my personal quirks and characteristics, which is great, and it really lets me be myself. I haven't realized how the past nine years have gone by. ThoughtWorks has become like a second family to me. There are lots of people involved in things outside of work, and ThoughtWorks encourages those interests. It's a lot of fun. You work hard and you play harder. It's not a company. It's an experience. So, Ira, thank you so much for joining us. And, you know, it was such a pleasure to talk to you and really great to get your insights. And we hope to work with you soon as well. Thank you, Lakshmi. I really enjoyed being here. And I also, it's great to learn what are the new trends that when it comes to video making, studio setups, especially when they're remote and distributed. So thank you for sharing your insights as well.